Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. A lot of people in the comment section on one of my recent videos about Abdul Samad are missing the point. I'm not defending him or his views. If it's not in English or in Arabic, I can't follow what he's saying. But what I, my objection is, 
is to the reasons given by the Singapore government as to what makes him an extremist. The things that they're saying made him extreme are normal views among Muslims. Normal views among Muslims in the region. That's the problem. The problem isn't that you didn't let this guy in. If there was a reason not to let this guy in, okay, don't. But the reasons that you gave mean that you view normal Muslim beliefs as extremist beliefs. Mean that you view normal Muslim beliefs as extremist beliefs. Mean that you view normal Muslim beliefs as extremist beliefs. Means you want to change the religion of the Muslims. You want to change the nature of the beliefs of the people of this region. Because you don't understand Islam and you don't understand how to relate to Muslims because too many of the people who are making decisions in Singapore are not from this region. They're from mainland China and they have a problem with Muslims as we know. My criticism or my objection to this situation isn't about the man specifically. It's about the reasons given by the Singapore government as to why he should be regarded as extreme. They didn't say he's violent. He's a member of a jihadi group. He's calling for violence or he's doing any of those kinds of things. They said it's because he uses the word kafir, because he believes that the cross has jinn in it. Well, look, every religion thinks that whatever is worshipped aside from the God that they worship, they believe it is satanic. The Christians believe that the Kaaba is satanic. The Jews believe that the cross is satanic. The Jews believe that Jesus salam, is in Jahannam. They believe he was a false prophet. The Christians believe that Rasulullah was a false prophet. And he was possessed by jinn, by shaitan, by demons. That's what they believe. We know that they believe that. They know what we believe. What's the problem? Social harmony isn't achieved by pretending that we don't have differences. It's by knowing that we have differences and still accepting each other anyway. That's what tolerance is. Meaning we know that we have differences, but that's okay. No problem. You think what you think, we think what we think. That's what harmony is, not pretending that there's no differences, and not by suppressing each group's ability to express within their group the, their beliefs. That's not how you can have, can have social harmony, by killing the beliefs of people. Subhanallah. The reasons that they gave to identify him as an extremist or someone who incites religious hatred is not sound. They're trying to redefine normal Islamic views that are held by Muslims throughout this region as extreme. The objections explained by the Singapore government do not justify the label of extremist. And that's the problem that I have. Jazakumullahu khairan wa salamu alaykum.